Those will announce both people and package detections. Now just having the Amazon Miss A application can save you money while shopping. Then even when you're running something like a game console connected to that TV, you can get it to play audio on your Echo speaker. When you are working in your shopping list in the Amazon Miss A application, you might notice a little green tag just underneath your items. This little icon means you can save money on what you're buying. If you tap into that item, the offers will be listed below for you to tap on and then read any of the instructions. Even better is that you can add that specific item to your shopping list and in most cases you have just got to show this to the retailer that you're shopping at. This will add the amount that you are saving to a gift card on your Amazon account no matter where you're shopping. Which actually means that now just having the Amazon Miss A application can save you money while shopping. If you want to take that money you've saved and spend it on things on your wish list or that are contained on your shopping list, then if you turn on a setting within the notifications page that says deal recommendations, you will get notices from Amazon before something on your wish list or on your shopping list goes on sale. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and I will help you do just that by showing you the latest and greatest features from Amazon for their home automation platform. And I say platform today because they sell so many different devices. In fact, one of those devices is the Amazon Smart Air Quality Monitor, which I purchased when it first came out and there was no automation available for the device at that time. Plus it was really hard to find in the app and when you did find it, the interface wasn't so great. However, Amazon has really fixed this device and I can now recommend it for purchase. That's because if you go into routines, you can trigger or start a routine off of any measurement that this device takes. The other improvement is that Amazon added a quick link in the devices page for air quality monitors and that includes your air quality dashboard which has been improved to show very simple readouts of your air quality data. Speaking of routines, one of the best features that you can use today with any of the Echo shows is to automatically display a camera or a video doorbell on those screens. This can happen based on an event anywhere in your smart home, but I have two updates for you on automatically displaying camera feeds. The first one is that Fire tablets now have an option to show the live view from any of your cameras with a voice command. but. Also with a video doorbell to show it automatically based on a doorbell press. The other big one is that your newer Nest cameras and doorbells are available for motion based announcements and for those doorbell press announcements as well. This only affects the Nest camera and doorbells released in 2021 or newer and you will have to make sure that you enable the Google Nest skill to get this working. Then go into any of those cameras and make sure that the motion announcements are enabled on speakers you'd like and on doorbells, make sure the doorbell press announcements are there too. This new feature gets a little deeper too if you have one of the newer Ring video doorbells or the Abode, IOTA and outdoor cameras. Those will announce both people and package detections, although Ring will require a Ring Protect plan to make person and package detection available to you. So far from me, I've done the Google Nest integration and I could get live views of my cameras on my different Echo shows, but I couldn't get the motion or doorbell announcement. So I'd love to hear if you've been able to get this working with Nest and Amazon going or working together. One of the biggest deterrents for someone to break into a vehicle or break the law in general is to know that they are being monitored and recorded. And this is where one of the newer ring cameras or doorbells can help. You will need a wired in version of a ring camera or doorbell and you must have one of these models. But after you're on the devices page, you will find a motion warning option up in the top right of the app. If you don't see it there, make sure you have at least one motion zone set up but then you can record your own warning that will play out if someone is in motion in that zone. There used to be a feature called Care Hub, which meant that we could help someone else or monitor someone else using a couple of Echo devices, one in their home, one in your home. 
That feature called Care Hub was the early name for now what is called Miss A Together. You can sign up for a six month free trial, but the pricing after that is $20 per month or $200 a year. In terms of monitoring, this gives the person being cared for the quick command of Miss A call for help. That will connect them with someone who can send the police, fire department, or ambulance. Also, there's an opportunity to connect products from VAR or ATS that uh, can automatically detect a fall has occurred. The part that I liked was that once this service had been opted into on both sides, the manager can set things like reminders, add contacts, deal with the shopping list, link music, and really it enables oversight and notification of what's going on in their home. So this is a great option for many people to assist their parents, but it is fairly expensive. And if you don't necessarily need the call for help features, then you should probably just have a look at a video that I produced. It shows you how to completely configure an Echo Show to send it to your parents and maintain full control over that device anytime you need it. You would have a lot of the features that you're getting with Miss A together. It would just be a bit more of a manual management. Here's one of my favorite new features, although it will cost you 10 bucks a month after a three month trial. I happen to think that trial's worth it right now because it's the NHL playoffs and that's all I will need to be able to listen to any game live on my Echo speakers. You'll get MLB, NFL, NHL, and NCAA games with no blackouts. And all you have to do is ask to listen to sports. You could get more specific and say, uh, listen to the Edmonton Oilers game, but what you're using is tune in live. And that's where the subscription comes in. But as I said, you can get that three month trial. What would you like to hear? Listen to the Oilers game. The Edmonton Oilers are playing in one hour. The Fire TV sticks, cubes, and even television sets have all gained some pretty big features recently. I love hearing about accessibility improvements, so if you're someone with a Fire TV cube second generation like I am, and you have a Bluetooth hearing aid from Starkey, then you can now pair that with that Fire TV cube. There are a few more commands for your Fire TV sticks, including if you quick press the Amazon Voice Assistant button on your remote, up comes a new shortcut panel that can get you to a newly redesigned smart home dashboard, the weather, and more. On top of that, if you ask your Fire TV stick to open the guide, you'll get all of the live TV options you have laid out just like you remember on your old DVR box. And all of this plays really well with the new interface tweak that Amazon brought to the Fire TV stick, as we have three new quick buttons to click on, including my favorite, which is my favorites or stuff. One of the biggest reasons to get a Fire TV 4 or Omni series is the fact that it's based on Fire TV, but then if you pair a home theater setup with say a couple of Echo Studios or a couple of Echo speakers, then even when you're running something like a game console connected to that TV, you can get it to play audio on your Echo speakers. However, today you have an option to do the same thing with the Fire TV stick 4K Max, as long as you have a TV with an ARC port and have dealt with a few settings. This has meant that my Nintendo Switch, my Apple TV 4K, and even the content on my Roku television itself has all played through my Echo speakers. This creates an incredible opportunity for you to use your Echo speakers, and I'm going to show you how to do that in the video that's on screen now. It will show you how to set up the home theater with your Echo speakers across your whole entertainment system. Otherwise, thanks for watching today, and of course, don't hate, automate.